Hi, welcome to the public input presentation for the City of Las Cruces Dog Parks. I'm Kelly Heyer, Senior Project Architect with ASA Architects. The following presentation will describe the design proposal for the public dog park projects. Included in the general obligations bond passed in 2018, there were various parks, sports field improvements, and additions that were included. Within the additions are two acres of dog parks, that, and that's what we'll be covering today. It is proposed to split the two acres into two separate dog parks, one acre each. They are to be located at Burn Lake Park and near the intersection of Highway 70 and Rinconada Boulevard. First, let's take a look at the Burn Lake Park. This is an aerial image of the existing Burn Lake Park, where you can see the existing soccer fields, a small playground area to the south, as well as the public restrooms. Next to the soccer fields is a large gravel parking area, and across from the, large, from the gravel parking area is where the new dog park will be located. The new dog park is approximately one acre in size, and it will include new water conscious landscaping, perimeter fencing, and paved parking and sidewalks. Zooming in, you can see the proposed site plan design for the dog park, which shows that within the dog park are two separate areas, one for small dogs and one for large dogs. You can see the large dog park is slightly larger to accommodate larger play and running area on the southern portion of the park. The two areas are surrounded by perimeter fencing along with a fence line that separates the two areas. The small and large dog play areas each have a separate entry and exit vestibule, which helps with the safety and security of the people and their pets as they enter and exit the park. Both areas also include shade structures, various play equipment, and water drinking fountains. In addition to the perimeter fencing and water conscious landscaping, there are several paved parking spaces and sidewalks for ease of access. What you can see in some of the paving are paving designs in the shapes of dog bones for some fun and playful design icons as you enter and exit the park, as well as inside the park where the drinking fountains are located. Moving on to the Rinconada Dog Park. The Rinconada Dog Park is located on Rinconada Boulevard near Highway 70. This area also includes the existing Animal Services Center in Mesilla Valley and its new addition. The Rinconada Dog Park will be located just north of the Animal Services Center new addition. It's important to remember that the dog park is for public use only and will not be shared with the Animal Services Center. The Animal Services Center has their own exercise areas and it is not a part of the Rinconada Dog Park project and there will be no cross-contamination of illnesses or diseases between pets that visit the dog park and the dogs that are housed inside the Animal Services Center. The Rinconada Dog Park is also approximately one acre in size and will, be, will include water conscious landscaping, perimeter fencing, and paved parking and sidewalks, as well as new public restrooms. Zooming in, you can see the proposed site plan design for the dog park, which shows within the dog park are two separate areas. One for small dogs and one for large dogs. Similar to the other dog park, you can see that the large dog park is slightly larger to accommodate larger play and running area on the northern portion of the park. The two areas are surrounded by perimeter fencing along with a fence line that separates the two areas. The small and large dog park play areas each have a separate entry and exit vestibule, which helps with the safety and security of the people and their pets as they enter and exit the park. Both areas include, a, include shade structures, various play equipment, and drinking fountains. This dog park also includes public restrooms, which can be accessed within the, each of the play areas. In addition to the perimeter fencing and water conscious landscaping, there are several paved parking spaces and sidewalks for ease of access. 
what you can see in some of the paving and the paving designs are dog print icons to add some fun and playful design icons as you enter and exit the park as well as inside the park where the drinking fountains are located. Here are a few examples of some of the types of play equipment that will be inside both dog parks. The play equipment will allow pets and their owners to practice agility and training and provide pets with plenty of space to get exercise, have fun, and take pictures of our furry friends. Next are a few examples of some of the types of uh, furniture, signage, and equipment that will, the park will have, as well as the type of shade structures you can anticipate seeing inside each of the dog parks. As mentioned previously, there are drinking fountains inside the play areas, and it is for both people and dogs so that everyone can stay hydrated. For both dog park projects, the Combined Maximum Allowable Construction Cost, or MAC, is budgeted at $800,000, and that will be shared between the two dog parks. The next steps are to receive your comments, questions, and concerns about what has been presented. From there, we will continue with design drawings and documentation, and once the design documentation has been completed, we will submit for permit approval and advertise for bid to select a general contractor. Once the project has been awarded to a contractor or contractors, the construction will begin shortly thereafter. When a contractor or contractor has been selected, we will be able to determine and share with you the estimated construction schedule and ultimately when the parks will open. We look forward to your comments and thank you for your time today. Stay safe, Las Cruces.